Do the masks we wear fit us perfectly? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Most of us have had encounters with clouds, especially when we were kids while attending children's parties. Most prominent in those parties are the presence of clouds. They have the knack to entertain and make people laugh and see the lighter side of life. This amusing and humorous appearance of the clown is a result of the costume mask or makeup that is worn. But the cloud perhaps has an important lesson for all of us to learn. The cloud says, All people in actuality wear masks. Only mine is seen outside. This mask that many of us wear is the mask of hypocrisy and duplicity. In today's Gospel reading, we reflect on hypocrisy as a vice which is greatly despised by Jesus and constantly asks to weed out. It often lurks its head in our lives knowingly or unknowingly. It is deceiving others by presenting a false self. It comes from the Greek word hupoklino, a composite word. Hupo means under, while krino means to separate or judge. This word was mainly used in Greek theaters and plays to describe those actors who would speak their parts behind the mask. Jesus speaks to his disciples, Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Why yeast? What does it do? Yeast or leaven is something that is used in baking. Yeast has property of influence as it can affect change. A little amount of yeast is enough to raise the dough or to leaven the batter. It has a great characteristic of exercising a great amount of influence, though little in quantity. Hypocrisy is such that though it starts slow, it spreads its influence speedily, like the yeast. How does hypocrisy usually manifest? Where does it originate? Usually from a fear. That is why in the Gospel, the Lord Jesus would strongly exhort, Fear not. When we dispose the fear of many factors, we are able to be our real self. When we cast away the fear of our material worries, we are able to live our true identity. God shows us the path to holiness, being a loving Father. He knows that our double standards in life and our pretense and duplicity is a wall preventing His grace to flow in us. We must admit that we all wear masks, and the time often comes when we cannot remove them without removing some of our own skin. The Lord invites us to peel away our mask of hypocrisy by casting away our fears, by entrusting ourselves into the care of our loving God. Let us not like be a clown who has a fake smile because of the mask. Rather, let us become people who truly rejoice and emit the joy and happiness of being the precious children of our loving Father. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God the Father, we truly praise and thank you for allowing us to grow in faith, for your unending graces and overflowing love. 
We ask, dear Father, that you continue our transformation in the many aspects of our lives and help us to unmask ourselves of our hypocrisy and duplicity. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless our families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.